we need to get a little bit lower down without the guests getting in the way. Because I really kind of want to experience it. Maybe that was a little bit too low. I'm sorry. I looked at the security man's ass. Hello! It's Matt coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the video. And welcome to Fire Rock River. Created by Green Jay Bird 13 now today's park is a PlayStation 5 park, and as always, if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, leave subscribe if you are new, and if you would like to have your park spotlighted, then the Iron Gamers Discord link, the Iron Gamers, will be up in that top corner right now. Now the description for this park reads, My sixth park I've created. It is a reimagining of my very first park, Fire Rock River Park. Everything is newly built, but the story is the same. Welcome to Fire Rock River, the site of an ancient temple complex where supernatural forces linger. Explore this jungle cautiously. Wow, that's a bit of a ominous description. I absolutely love Green Jay Bird's parks. I've spotlighted a couple of them already. I spotlighted Ancient Woods just a couple of months ago. It was a beautiful park. He is such a talented creator. And it's his birthday on the day of the release of the spotlight. So happy birthday, Green Jay Bird. I'm not going to sing. I'm not going to embarrass myself. But super excited to get into this. Hopefully this is a good birthday present for you. So let's hop in and have a look around shall we today's video is being sponsored by instant gaming play smart pay less thank you so much to instant gaming for sponsoring today's video with being a console gamer my entire life i've only recently moved over to pc gaming and instant gaming has been a lifesaver in allowing me to purchase games i've always wanted to play at a reasonable price Instant Gaming offers discounts on all the most current titles and has massive discounts on our favourite Frontier games including Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo and Jurassic World Evolution. Make sure to click the link above or below in the description to get some amazing games at affordable prices. Again, thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video, but without further ado, let's hop into the video, shall we? Right, so here we are at the park entrance and you can't even see the park from over here it's so well hidden behind the hills and behind the trees it feels like we've really got to go on an adventure on a trek through the jungle just to even find the park itself and then the entranceway is so foreboding it feels like the opening level to a Tomb Raider game or something oh I like what you've done with the floor there using the Ghostbusters piece that's really effective actually and just to the left and right we've got some ticket booths has anybody else ever thought that that bloke looks a little bit like henry cavill no just me okay never mind anyway let's come through shall we so we still can't see much even coming through here so we've got the cash machines just on the left and right and we've really got to go into the heart of the jungle now welcome to jurassic park oh this is so atmospheric just the sounds of the forest all around you i've got headphones on at the moment and it sounds incredible i can just hear birds and the forest just all around me oh my days this looks incredible you got a drop tower right in front of us like the very main focal point of the park like kind of and them doors opening just as it goes up and down we've got some temple artifacts just here the waterfall off in the distance look this is incredible the level of immersion we need to get a little bit lower down without the guests getting in the way because i really kind of want to experience it maybe that was a little bit too low i'm sorry i looked at the security man's ass i'm so sorry um Carry on. 
I've completely put myself off now. Oh, there goes the drop tower. There you go. Look at the look at the drop tower. Let's just ignore the fact that Matty is looking at the security man's ass. Um. Anyway. <laughs> oh no. What was I saying? It's so immersive. Look at that tower. That that tower's really nice. Oh dear, 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 dear. Oh, the large restaurant. It was like a Matty upskirt shot all over again. For those who don't know, you're better off not knowing, trust me. But for the people who do know, you know. You know what I mean. So we've got the Fire Rock River Cruise. So we've actually got a boat ride straight away. Now, the risk of going on a boat ride or a train ride or any kind of transport ride, really, at the start of a spotlight as it runs the risk of ruining the rest of the spotlight or not ruining it but maybe showing off bits of the park that i didn't really want to show off yet says the guy who's already put the b-roll at the start but leave me alone um but yeah we'll go on it anyway and let's hope it doesn't show too much so we've got a wendigo a kiddie coaster just in front of us oh just as a boat pulling it oh and there's a Gertschlauer Eurofighter just over there. So there isn't masses of attractions in this park. We've got the boat ride, the kiddie coaster, the Gertschlauer, and a dark ride, I believe. And then I think we will go on a couple of the flat rides as well. Maybe not all, but we'll certainly go on some of them. But it's not a huge park, this one. But it's certainly extremely highly detailed and I don't want to go whizzing through quickly and missing anything because it's just incredible but the best experience is in front bumper I love it love it when people do this by the way it makes my life so much easier for spotlights knowing exactly where people want the POV for the ride but anyway first ride of the park let's do it enjoy everyone Wow. 
that was absolutely incredible. I mean, where do I even start? I mean, the, the foliage and the rock work was top class all the way around the set pieces that you had the way that it goes underneath the temple i believe we could see the dark ride just going over the top of us at the same time as we were going through that there were a couple of triggered effects as we were going around and it didn't show off the park which i was what i was concerned about i'm still none the wiser as to what's coming around the park it didn't give anything away which was fantastic i actually want to follow it round a little tiny bit and just have a actual look around at some of these set pieces so we've got some of the ruins there of an old statue the waterfalls were oh mwah, chef's kiss they were amazing and we'll actually come through here in the day just to appreciate and look at some of the details Wow. So the dark ride was going across the top of there, I believe. And then you got the triggered effect with that door opening. Oh, there's the dark ride, look. And then just as we come out, we've got the emergency exit point there. Into the other station, just as the Gertschlauer goes over the top of us. We'll come back and have a look at that station later on. And this is the real reason I wanted to come back round again. Look at this waterfall. Wow! A multi-layered waterfall. You've actually got water. That's not always easy to do with the terrain. Yeah, water all the way up, look. That is not easy to do. And still be able to get the water in. That is just... Stunning. Oh, love it. That's a good water feature. I'm so happy. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Great job. Love this bridge here. I oh, just love this park. Absolutely love this park already. Right. Come on. Stop looking at the water features, mate. Come on. Chop, 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 chop. Right. So, out we come. So we've got the Market Bazaar right in front of us. So the tours and shops. I love how the guests can only buy the one type of mask, by the way. Come down through here. Is this a Swift Drifters, maybe? It is indeed. Love this. It's simple but effective in the best possible way. Not gone really over the top. Not drawing away from the surroundings. It's just nestled away in the trees, in here. Does exactly what it needs to, and it's a fantastic flat ride skin. Yeah, love that. Great job. you come out of the exit got the staff room there you got some shops oh, I like what you've done with the roof here that's the icing piece very clever using the icing piece as a roof trim and then the uh, shadow effect that it gives on the floor yeah very effective we will actually go on that drop tower I don't very often go on drop towers and spotlights, but I'll definitely go on that one. That may arguably be one of the best drop tower skins I've ever seen done on console. Just beautiful work. Looking forward to go on that. So I believe we've got three different attractions here. So we've got Explorer, which I think is the dark ride. The dig, oh, I forgot about that one. So the dig, I believe, is a mine train. And then, of course, we've got Snake Tower there as well before we go over to the other side of the park. So, oh, look at the triggered effects on the entrance itself. Wow. So, oh, and then just the way that you've broken up the 
pathing with that trim there just to break up the differing paths right so let's swap this tonight shall we right there we go let's have a walk down the queue line shall we oh, look at this queue line wow so there is the fast pass but we're not going to go down there i want to explore it properly oh look there's the mine train going over the top of this queue now that is cool i like that that must be the exit just there this is a fantastic queue line this is sensational wow yeah, up the stairs. I am so excited for this. And in we come. Oh, we've got a story that I've got to read in the dark. Cool. Welcome, fellow explorers. Join the search for the rumoured forbidden treasure. Ancient texts reveal a hidden temple where the gold of those sacrificed is kept. This cursed treasure is said to be guarded by the ancient evil being that was worshipped here long ago. Join this expedition through the dense jungle at your own risk. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to do it. So, super excited to go on this. What's the best view? So, best experience from Bumper. So, let's go for a ride. Enjoy, everyone. I genuinely don't even know what to say, if I'm being honest. I mean, let's address the elephant in the room straight away. No, that wasn't the dark ride, okay? I know that now. I can see that that was not the dark ride. That was the mine train, all right? Let's get that out of the way straight away. Green Jay, what am I supposed to say to that? That was world class. That was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just, I, I don't know what else to say. I genuinely, genuinely don't. I just rode that three times before even filming this response. Because that's how good it was. I actually want to go around like this and explore it. I don't do this very often for rides very rarely in fact would i do this for rides but i just want to see some of the set pieces that you've done around it the way that it gradually goes from day to night throughout there's not them harsh brash changes of light like in an instant it was very gradual 
as it went through. It started in the daylight, and by the end, it was night time. But there was no quick trigger that did it. Like, the views of the park as you were coming down. I, it was just so good. It was so good. What is that down there? There's a flat right... Hang... What? There's a flat right down there. What? How did you get to that? Oh, I wonder if that's what the dig is. That would make sense. That would make sense. That must be the dig. And the dark ride must be on the other side of the park. Potentially. Wow. Spoiler alert, there's a flat ride there. And look at all of this around here. All of the detailing. You, you can't even really take this in. Because you come past here so quickly. You wouldn't even take in that there's all this here. I think I can honestly say that is up there with one of the best mine trains I've ever seen done. There are a couple that stand out. There's NH99's uh, Planco Frontierland. There is the Dark Tony's mine train from the Foxy Park series. But this is right up there with them, in my opinion, as the one of the very, very best. Like some of the triggers that you had going on, especially when we went into here. Like with all the rocks and the spikes that were coming through. Look at all these skeletons. I didn't even notice them. And that's despite the fact that I rode it, rode it three times. I still didn't notice them. <clears throat> just amazing. I'm so sorry. I'm just clearing my throat in the middle of a in the middle of a spotlight. I don't do that. That's very unprofessional, Matty. I'm nothing but professional all of the time. And here I am, just cleaning my throat. I'm so sorry. I feel awful now. I should really go and cut that out. But I really like what I've recorded so far, and I don't want to go back and change it. So I'm just going to stick with that. I'm going to leave that in. Just ignore the fact that I cleared my throat, alright? Stop drawing attention to it. Okay. Alright, anyway. And this is just... Oh, so good. So good. Oh, that was very nice. It actually opened for me as I was coming down. Or open for the train. One of the two. But I'm going to say it was for me. I think we can all agree that is possibly one of the best mine trains you've seen done on the console. I'm pretty sure you will all agree with me on that. I'm not making a bold statement right there. That was genuinely that good. Right. I do need to go and find the end there because we do need to carry on with the spotlight. It may be a smaller park... But that still doesn't mean that I can run over an hour. So, come on. Come on. All the spikes that come through as you went through there and you had all the boulders at the same time. I like that boulder. That's a nice boulder. Right, and I believe this starts bringing us towards the end. What a ride. What a ride. And there's the <laughs> flat ride again. And then I think this is the station through there. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right. An ancient evil has been awakened. Uh oh. Oh no. Right. I don't even know what else to say. No words. No words. Right, so. We have the dig. Now, I'm assuming this must be that flat ride that we just saw. It must be. Yeah, given the fact that the exit kind of comes up from there. I think we also need to go into this at night as well. So let's just swap that to night quickly. Right, and in we go. I do actually want to look at these queue lines and exits, even for the flat rides, because they're so highly detailed. Right, down we come. Oh, the blue fire. Really do feel like you're going into the depths of the temple right here. And it is indeed the flat ride. 
Shall we actually go for a quick ride on it? We don't very often go for a ride on one of these. Let's do it. Let's hop on for a quick ride, shall we? So, enjoy. Yeah, that was really well done, really well embedded into the terrain. I honestly had no idea that was there until we were exploring the mine train. Yeah, great job. Look at all the detailing around here. Just all of the vines around it, all of the faces. There's a lot gone into this. that a lot of people wouldn't even realise was here. Yeah, great job. Really, really like that. Right, so, let's have a walk up the exit. We'll walk up the exit in the day. And we'll head towards that drop tower, which we will also go for a ride for. And then we'll start heading over towards the other side of the park, towards the Gertschlauer and the dark ride. So... Off we come. There is also another little path that goes up there. I wonder if maybe you can access the other side of the park from there. Or is this maybe just the ride exit, possibly? Oh, nice little viewpoint right there. Now, I don't believe there's another way over to the... Oh, there might be, actually. I was going to say I don't believe there's another way over to the other side of the park, but there actually might be, look. So, Tomb of the Cursed. Ah, now that sounds like the dark ride. So, right, let's come back. I say let's come back, but then I keep looking at other things. Right, drop tower, mate, drop tower. I'm getting so sidetracked. I just want to see everything. Right, snake tower. Let's have a look at this. The western rocks work really well in this park. Oh, you got the little worker just under an umbrella there. Right. Best experience, guest view, any row, seat three. Right, so let's go for a ride on this then, shall we? Enjoy!
Wow, that was a bit of a hallucinogenic rush. That was so trippy with the changes of colours. I mean, the triggered effects were absolutely fantastic. Not only the way that you've got the doors triggering in time, but all the changes of colours of light. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Great job. Really enjoyed that. Right, so let's come down here. And we'll start heading towards the Tomb of Cursed Souls. Now, if that doesn't sound scary, I don't know what does. Look at the waterfall. Let's soak in the beautiful waterfall before we all go and get scared, shall we? Right, we can do it. Oh, the views in this park. Look at the Christmas lights in the side there. I was not expecting to see Christmas lights in this park. Okay, that was different. Wow. So, once again, I believe we need to swap this to night again. So, let's just swap that to night quickly. And in we come. I'm sure the eyes had lasers then. I'm sure they did. I just want to see the eyes have the lasers. Oh, there you go. Look. Look how it changes. How it changes colour. Honestly, the work that you do with triggered effects is absolutely insane. You and your husband, I am possible, are the best people with triggers on the console. No doubt. Like... No doubt about it. You pair with your triggered work is just absolutely nuts. That's crazy. But right, is there... Oh, best experience, guest view, seat two. Is there any kind of story that I need to read before we go on it? No, I don't believe so. Right, so let's go for a ride. Enjoy, everyone. That's it. I'm done. I give up. I can't do this anymore. What do I say? Again? 
literally no words no words that was absolutely incredible again some of the best trigger work i've ever seen done just incredible and i am done that's it end the spotlight i'm finished no more speechless right let's come out up here and back out into the daylight oh i like where this brings us out look so this brings us right to the top of the temple i believe so if we just come down here this would have been the entrance for the ride i believe i think that's it just there yes so the exit brings us out right at the top of the temple which i mean before we even carry on we need to have a look at this temple in all of its glory look at that not just the fact that you've built this incredible temple but the fact that you've managed to get a pathing going around it with guests on it simultaneously that must have been a logistical nightmare did you do the path first and then build the temple around it because i cannot see how you could have built the temple and then done the pathing afterwards i've seen temples done in the game before but i don't believe with guests on them at the same time because of how difficult that would be beautiful building the architecture is just spot on yeah all the way around absolutely fantastic we do need to go around and have a look on that uh girch flower and then we've also got the kitty coaster as well so so there's the exit for the ride we've got a cash machine staff room right and let's go down shall we so the temple of delicacies and the temple of substance what's is that actually oh okay i've got yeah so that's the very clever very clever so one's a restaurant one's a hotel very clever i like it right down we come So, Jungle Escape. What is that, I wonder? Literally, don't even know what that is. We've got a... I think that might be the Gitch Lower, right there. So, what is Jungle Escape? Ah, I wonder if this is the Kitty Coaster. I'm not sure. Or is this the Gitch Lower, possibly? Right, so that's the Gertz flower. I'm going to come back to that. I'm actually going to leave that one till the end. I want to leave that one till last. We'll go on the kiddie coaster first. And then come back to the Gertz flower. So we've got the station for the other side of the Jungle Cruise. Of course, where we were earlier on. So another really nice station once again. It gives me an excuse to look at them waterfalls again. I'm going to say it, this is genuinely right up there with one of my favourite parks of the entire year. This is just absolutely insane and the best Aztec park I've ever seen done. Absolutely incredible. How do I get to the kiddie coaster? Is it up here? It must be. we got another viewpoint just there. Looking up at the temple. Where am I even going to get a thumbnail for this park? Seriously, I've got no idea where to get a thumbnail from. Because every single way you look is a potential thumbnail. It's just beautiful everywhere. Where does this go? Jungle Heart Temple Shrine. What is this? 
Oh, look, there's a flat ride in here. Wow, it's a Monte Leon look. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. Love it. But I'm still looking for the kiddie coaster. I know I've already looked at it and gushed over it, but look at it! It's so good! Right. We've got a little viewpoint just down here. Oh, look at that! It's a viewpoint for the waterfall! Well, it'd be rude if I didn't. It was here for a reason. Oh, right, okay. I'm done. I'm sat. I'm alright now. Right. Kitty coaster. So, staff only. Kitty coaster, where are you? You must be over here. I'm getting further and further away from the Gertschlauer. I'm kind of thinking I should have just gone on that whilst I was there. Because I've got to go back and find it again. So there is the exit. Now I believe this... I know the entrance was there, by the way. I did know that. I did see it. Um, I believe this just takes us back to the entrance of the park. So we won't be missing anything. So we've got another little viewpoint here. Just looking over the boats. And then this would just take us back to the entrance of the park again just to ensure that we haven't missed anything so let's have a look at paradise flyer and then we'll go back and we'll end on the gertz flower before having a look at the night lighting what a park what a park i have loved this one so much i don't want to stop filming I genuinely do not want to stop filming. But anyway, best experience, front bumper, so penultimate ride. Let's do it. Enjoy, everyone. That was a beautiful little kiddie coaster did exactly what it needed to great little layout just the foliage work all the way around again just like the rest of the park so so immersive just great job i really enjoyed that right let's go back and find that gertschlauer shall we wish me luck so it was over here somewhere That's not it. We go over here. Down here. Ah, there we go. Jungle escape. That was it. Right, so. We'd already walked down the queue line. So let's go up to the station. So, a group of arrogant archaeologists removed the jungle heart stone away from its protected sacred resting place. An unwitting... Unwitting... <laughs> and unwittingly oh my god right i'm gonna do this i'm gonna be here all day i don't care unwittingly stop saying it ing 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 unwittingly i think i said it unwittingly awoke a long forgotten evil being who'd possessed the land claiming dominion upon this once peaceful place she's taken the magic stone and gone through the rift that had opened on the opposite side of the temple quickly chase after her and grab the jungle heart stone safely return it to its sacred shrine to cast out the unholy ancient evil being and restore peace to the land be warned the evil one and her loyal hellhounds will stop at nothing to stop you from succeeding oh okay best experience guest view row one seat two final ride of the park let's do it super excited let's do it shall we enjoy
that was a great ride to end this spotlight on. Really enjoyed that. Just the way that it takes you pretty much round the entire park. Just like all the other rides, the trigger work was absolutely fantastic. Maybe it could have done with a little bit of smoothing here and there, but I mean, does it does it matter? Does anybody care? Probably not, to be honest. It was not supposed to be a super realistic ride. It was supposed to be a ride experience, and for that, it was amazing. I've just noticed something. Just before we look at the night lighting, what is that up there? Is this part of a... No, it's not. Ah, oh, right, so it's part of the scenery to the ride. I mean, to be honest, you don't even really see that on the ride as you go past. It's Goza. Is it Goza from Ghostbusters? I think that's the name. I can't remember. But what a park. What a park. And even from an elevated shot, it's not a big park at all. But there's so much detail crammed into this. But we do need to have a look at this park at night. So let's just quickly swap it tonight. And of course, as expected, the night lighting is absolutely sensational. Let's just get down to a lower level so we can actually appreciate it properly. I, mean, I don't really know what to say, Green Jay, about this park. So I've been doing spotlights now for coming on for three years. And... In them three years, there's been a handful of parks that have come along that have left me speechless. That have left me with my jaw on the floor. And I've struggled to find words to say. Things like maybe some of the Flooded Tombs parks or the Rome Park by Albrus. Maybe some of NH99's work. And a couple of others along the lines, along the time. That have just left me almost speechless and just in sheer awe. This is one of them. This is, in my opinion, a world class park. The best Aztec park I have seen done. Some of the best triggered work I've seen done. Them dark rides were just insane. Like the mine train. I'm going to count that as a dark ride. The actual dark ride itself, just sensational. Absolutely sensational. I have loved this park. Absolutely loved it. And you should expect to see this park again later at the end of the year in the top 10 parks of the year because it has to. It's, it's up there with the best of the year I've seen so far absolutely amazing well done and happy birthday uh, i hope you've had a lovely day i hope this has been a nice birthday present for you but what did you all think of this one i'm not just overhyping it am i this isn't just matty being matty being overly excited at everything this is genuinely as good as i am making it out to be and i know i'm right <laughs> and i'm sure you will all agree with me but what a park thoroughly enjoyed it let me know down below in the comments what you all think but i'll be back in a couple of days in fact i'll actually be back in a couple of days for green jay bird's husband's park i am possible 13 so i'll be back on friday for his park spotlight so i will see you all friday until then take care stay safe look after yourselves and see you all in a couple of days bye everybody